welcome to the Legend of Grimrock. Um, we have turned up in mission two on the actual castle missions. Um, but before you get going on this one, you have to really ask yourself, is everything done in the old blessed old castle? And you can always go to the blue stones and uh, get something out of here, dump off stuff that you don't really need. This gun is brilliant, but our man is not yet qualified on it. Uh, this axe is pretty good, but he's not yet qualified on it. No good thing, go on its own little shelf. No, it doesn't really need the... Done. That was a shame. I dropped off the edge before I sorted myself out. Okay. Right, a few bombs might be uh, in order to heal. What other bombs? Are there? from that. Just reload it. Just to reload it. It's only a little while ago that we went onto the blue stones, luckily. And we chucked a few things off, but now we're going to learn from that and have a few things ready. So we've got the frost ones ready. Oh yeah, look. These two too ham-fisted at the moment to have that, um, and this can go with it, because they're both similar weapons. Um, she's got a load of keys now, thank goodness, so we're going to need them. So I'm going to fight those creatures just the other side of there, which is great. Organised. Um, he's a bit heavy though. Yeah, he doesn't need both of these things, does he? Um. Basically, he doesn't need these darts at all. He long since stops using those, but it's nice to have it in reserve. to redeem the gear key that we got. Here's the gear key, look. And if you've got gear keys, you go and redeem them. There's a special place in the castle to redeem your gear keys, which are like um, emergency supplies, blue, cr green crystals, typical. So up here, turn right, we've got a special cache place. Just here. All oh, right, this is the first time that we use the gear key in this area, so this is a good place to come. Loads of bombs. Another gear key needed there. So every time you get a gear key, you can. Um, I mean, 22 frost bombs. Wow. Green ones. So going up here, 
So as you can see there is a bridge lit up there, we're getting quite a few enemies coming across. straight across that bridge now into the land of cold I'm betting those arches are amazing right blue one definitely so once you get over to this place if you haven't got a tomb key you just wasted your time we've got two so we've just opened these gates here which are brilliant fun so if you look you can look up at that lot there um, so, for instance, if you get any enemies following you, just do this business. Make sure. Um, they get taken out very quickly by those defences. Absolutely superb defences. So, if you come through here, you'll notice there's one tomb key there. Have we got two. Looks like we've missed out on a tomb key somewhere. Unfortunately, we can't open those doors. Oh, look, we have. We have got it. The minute that you put those tomb keys in there, you do get more enemies coming up. So, let's see if anybody's hungry. No. no. So we can have a quick shifty round. Um, there's a secret button there. If you press that twice, it releases all of that lot. So you have to have a think about it. If you're going to do that to save it because there's quite a few enemies up there look um castle one would probably be a good one so let's press the button twice once twice so now they're all released they go wherever they want okay, so don't seem to want oh look she's come off first she's the first off That was unbelievable, that was. That was amazing. Um, best idea is, as before, is to use these defences. Bloody hell. How about that? Right, so he's going to come after us, it's quite obvious. If you can, flush the bloke down the flipping toilet as quickly as possible. Uh, oh, he's going to go this way, look. He's not gonna. He's not gonna be uh, mucked about. Look. So you go up this way. Yeah, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. Oh, I've got to say, I didn't believe he'd fall for that. But there you go. He did. This one's gonna do the same by the look of it. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh, I cry. 
like it's some kit here that we don't particularly need. Hmm. No, that's not going to be enough to move off, is it? Take that off onto the mine at all. My god. Wow. Well, there are some nice little bits of kit in here, look. zone where you can blast them with these bloody defences. That's the flipping idea. Let's clear that lot off. The next stage is to put the two tomb keys into the locks. There's one there. So got no blue blue left now. Looks like all those super enemies that came off of those ledges are now gone, which is pretty good. quite badly there before he went down right so if you go down oh just just realize oh that's interesting so 
So the, as the team are in perfect flipping condition now, the, this is the best time to save it really. So we're going to save it now before we put those two tomb keys in. Because there's a whole flipping pack of dogs behind those doors. So we're going to put the keys in now. The sorcerer is going to do a slight. The only trouble is we've got to face that. Thing. Right, ah, that's not too good, is it? Yeah, this is the only problem putting these keys in. We need to activate the grid. Now move back. So that's done one of them. What can I do now? Oh, where's he come from? Oh, I know what we can do with him. We can draw him down to this uh, trap door. That would be good to get rid of him. He's quite, he's quite easily disposed of now with his trap door behind us. We'll take him on to this, I think. Yeah, that would be good. Here he comes, look. He's going to fall for it. Completely. Have a nice trip! <laughs> that was fast. Right, now we put in the last tomb key. Right, those doors are now open. So basically we're facing a whole load of dogs in there. Um, what if they need enticing to come out? What is happening down in this away? Nothing by the look of it. Moved. Oh, there's one of them there. Look. Oh, look. There's one there. Right, so we Doggy doggy, come on, you know you want to come in this direction, right? Yeah, nice one. This one's got flipping egg. Look at that. Oh, there's quite a few of them now, look. There's quite a few of them coming now. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's, that's the way to do it, get them on that track. Loads of dogs in this direction. Blimey. Looks like a few of them. Oh, it's red and red. Bullets there. Some fantastic boots there. Right, that's sorted that out. Uh, who wants the boots? Oh yeah, you can have the boots, definitely. Much better than the shoes. I think we might even be able to get a snooze in here. Um, wait a minute, let's have a little light. Oh, we got lights, that's alright. Um, fantastic cloak. Who 
hasn't got a cloak. A rat master hasn't got a cloak, and he's hungry. See, it all worked out. It all worked out in the end. You get, oh, one of these flipping necklaces. This, I think, this necklace is absolutely superb. I think. Health plus fifty. That's fantastic. So this is the way to sort this lot out. Oh, the wrong one. This is where you get the ornate key. Look, and we've got it. We've got the ornate key right there. What else is in here apart from that? Well, is it just the ornate key? Because there's a door. Yeah. Let's have a look at the plan of the place. Is there a secret button in here or something? Let's have a look. Um, that's where we came in. No, I don't think there's anything in here apart from that all eight key thing. Right, let's put it in then in that case. All eight key, go. Ah! Definitely save it now. Definitely. Wow. Ice with cocoa. Definitely save it. Right, so we go down here. There's a couple of ladders there in case you want to that we need. A skull key. Like a key we've got. Yeah, I'll tell you what we'll have that. So there's a lever down here. This releases all these knights. So now they can go. That's right. Oh no. Oh boy. Right, let's have a blue one. And a fish. Right, so now we're up here. And we've got a couple of easy old soldiers to fight. No sweat. If you want to, you can exit out of this place very easily on the left. If you want to exit. Right, if you jump down there. Oh no, that's wrong. That isn't the exit down there, it's the exits on the other side of there. If you exit on the left of there. So now. Heading into trouble now. Oh boy. We've got three people left by the skin of our teeth. Um, but we've got one of those potions here. Look, we're running low on those. So the idea now is to jump down on where those um, skeleton warriors were. We just have a bit of a quick sleep before we do that. He's hungry. Unbelievable, I know. Unbelievable. We're up here in this water world. Um, I don't know if it shows much on the map. Oh, it does. It shows quite a lot. So one way of doing it would be to jump down here, grab all kinds of stuff. Look, this is amazing. 
Tons of great stuff there, and on the alcoves here, look, this is absolutely superb stuff, this is. Um, loads of top armour there. Absolutely amazing stuff. Absolutely superb. All kinds of stuff. Brilliant. Right, so we have just done the most amazing raid of all time. Right, back to safety. Fantastic necklace there. This is a great necklace because it gives you 25% faster something or other. What was it? 25% faster experience points. Brilliant. Um, so this armor we just picked up is the top light armor, is it? Oh no. no it's, it's pretty good though. It's better than that. Let's be fair. Um, yeah, this is, this is much better than this stuff. So we're going to have a little swap over. Um, is this bloke skilled up on it? He is. So you can have some fantastic boots. I think the only one who hasn't got lights... Oh no, he has as well. He has as well. Um, oh, they, where, there's those gloves that you can have those. Brilliant. Oh, they've got some fantastic armour now. She's got these... Oh no, she's already got top light armour. This stuff is not really that marvellous, but this is... Wow, this team are really armoured up to the hill now. They're pretty good. Pretty good. Look at the armour they've got. It's fantastic. So where do we go from here then? I mean, we've just done the most amazing raid. So what do we do now? I think we save it now, basically. When, you, when you're doing really quite well, do give it a thought to... So, right, we'll give it a save now, just in case. See if you've got some enemies around, you can use that to take them out. Um, we're looking pretty good, actually, at the moment. Um, but uh, I think we raided everything that needs to be raided, so we're going to go for the exit, which is just over here. This is, well, this is one exit. Where are we now? Of course we haven't got any more of those red ones, have we? Oh, we have. We have. Uh, blimey, what's happening? So, on the map, we've been here before. This is this swamp that leads through to the advanced dungeon. I suppose it's a good idea that we uh, really cleared that advanced dungeon out. Basically looking for any herbs that we might need in the... Uh, uh. I don't 
they come in or not? They're not. Let's fox them. I don't know if this door's still open. Yeah, it is. Um. better position to do that mission two now because we've got a mission two coming up that needs sorting out and we're in a lot better position now cool so this is our kind of base uh, you can chuck off stuff that you don't need very much advised to chuck off certainly anything heavy um, this can go on there uh, so can that to use that thing yet. It's a, what firearm's going to use at the moment? Look, he's well under. He's well under. Um, he's got loads of arrows. He hasn't even got a bow. So, oh crikey. I don't know whether we can get back onto that island now. We'd better go and try now, I suppose. Just reminded me that we didn't get onto the final island. Got 11 blue he's got, look. Right, we'll go and try and do that now. If we can succeed in doing it, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Um, right, if you do, you can grab the bow. Yay, we got a bow. We have got a bow. We have got a bow. Go up the top here. Oh yeah, look, the bridge is still there. The bridge is still there. So we can go across. Mind you. Oh boy, there's a lot of enemies. Like this crab, for instance, which needs, needs taking out. Um, I don't know what the cove is going to be like with all these creatures being flushed. Really dread to, to know what the uh, cove is going to be like because we just flushed them all down to the cove. So it's going to be a nightmare down there. But another one's gone down there. So it's a bit short term thinking, to be quite honest. It solves the problem up here, but what about down on the cove? <laughs> right, we can go straight across now. Oh my god, I was going to say we can go straight across, but look. Oh my god. Um. Here they are, look. Go back on that thing again. They're all going down to the cove! What a nightmare! What a nightmare! So we've got a red diamond there. This place is absolutely livid, look. Now what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Right, the best thing to do is to run round grabbing stuff like no tomorrow. Just hope for the best, really. good stuff to be had. Obviously comes at a price. Look, that magic bridge is gone now. I think we would just take... Look, that's gone as well. Look. Um, there's a magic bridge there, mind you. Um, oh, 
Oh yeah. I don't know whether look, it's zero, it's zero on that particular geezer, so we're gonna need a froze. We're only gonna need to freeze him, I think. Um, it's probably working a bit on the others. Joke. Oh, dear, oh dear. Now we're back out, all because of the being surrounded by the remnants of that army. Luckily, we had all those flipping juices. Fantastic. <sighs> right, nice one. So, there's nothing else out here, look. So basically you've got all those pressure plates and what they do is they, um, if the monsters travel on them then they get taken by a poison bomb but of course a lot of them are not affected by poison unfortunately. So can we go back over there then? We can't. We can't. Um, right that's alright. about it and do something else. So that's the end of this mission. Cheers for that. <laughs>